Hey guys, Jim Nix, and I'm back with another video. This time I'm going to be talking about blend modes in Aurora HDR. It's, uh, it's actually a very simple idea, but uh, it's something that I didn't really even think about until recently. came up on a recent webinar. I started using it. I've been experimenting with it a little bit, so I thought I'd dive in a little bit more and uh, see what we can come up with uh, here. So let me pull up this image. This is a uh, three exposure HDR. And I shot it handheld, so I'm going to click Alignment. Let me bring that up, and then uh, we'll talk about blend modes and um, uh, sort of dive into that. The, uh, the blend modes, when I first started using Aurora, blend modes to me were something that went with uh, using textures. So if you add a texture, then I would go in and look at blend modes and say, do I want you know soft, or do I want hard light, do I want overlay, You know what sort of blend mode do I want? But in reality, and I'm just going to reset this picture to, uh, to nothing, um, in reality, blend modes go with layers, right? So it was sort of an eye-opener to me when I started thinking about that. I don't know why I made the mental association of tying blend modes to textures, which meant that if I wasn't using a texture, I wasn't using blend modes. Uh, but once I realized that it's really uh, dependent upon the layer, then it sort of opened up the idea to me to experiment with them. And so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to start with uh, this. I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to do nothing to the base layer because I'm going to start with blend modes right away. And uh, you can't do a blend mode on the on the base layer. So I'm going to add this first layer. I'm going to use a balanced and realistic. I'll abbreviate because I type fairly slow when I'm uh, under pressure, you know, on, on camera here. Uh, let me apply that preset. And um, this is the balanced and realistic preset. So there you go. And so what I normally do here and you've probably, uh, hopefully you've seen my previous video about luminosity masks, but that's another thing you can do is apply a luminosity mask and then a blend mode on top of that or vice versa. So it, it's just a unique and interesting way to apply effects to your, your photo. And, and the cool thing is, is they can go on much more subtly than if you do it uh, just a, a preset without any further adjustments. So um, here's where I am, right? And so normally what I would do is come over here, create a luminosity mask, that sort of thing. But I, I want to look at the blend mode. So it defaults to normal every time. And so I just run through these real quick. I can show you soft light. Uh, to me, it's not that soft, but that's what it's called. Hard light is, is really hard, uh, very dark. I'm just going to go through these here pretty quickly. Overlay is really looks no different than, uh, than hard light. Multiply is super intense. And uh, then there's screen, which tends to lighten it up quite a bit, as you can see. There's luminosity. That one actually looks really nice, I think. And then there's color. And there you go. So I'm going to go back to normal. But if you remember, let me show you one more time. Soft light and hard light, right? We're going to look at those again in a minute. But first, I'm going to apply a luminosity mask. And so all you do is you come over here. Let me do that a little bit slower. You come to this right-hand menu on your layer. And you, you click into the drop-down menu and just click Create Luminosity Mask. And like I said, if you're not familiar with those, I recommend watching my video from, uh, I don't know, a week or two ago. It's, it's called Introduction to Luminosity Masks. But basically, a luminosity mask builds a mask based on the light values. And so I'll show you that in a moment, what the mask looks like. But basically, in the lighter parts, the mask is lighter, uh, lower opacity. And in the uh, uh, darker parts of an image, the mask is a higher opacity. So there you go. If you notice, the photo changed once a luminosity mask has been applied. So let me show you the mask. And there you go. And uh, as you can see, it, it's based on light values. So that's what the mask looks like. I'm going to hide that because it's a little too uh, distracting when it's all red. Uh, let me show you the original image. There it is. And that was the preset with the luminosity mask, which is much more subtle than the preset without the luminosity mask. And so as I said in the previous video, lumin uh, luminosity masks are a great way to subtly apply uh, an HDR look, to go for a very natural look. To me, this is very natural looking, even though I've applied a preset, which was a little bit uh, more intense. Uh, but now that we have that luminosity mask applied, I can go over here to the uh, blend modes and start clicking on things. Now that's soft light. Do you remember how much different that was? And there's hard light. Again, a bit more intense than the no blend mode. But if you remember hard light, it was uh, very dark. And I think multiply was incredibly dark. And there you go, that's, that's a little faded looking, but it's not nearly as dark. Uh, and here's color, just as an example. Very natural looking, very, uh, very sort of calming, right? 
So let me go back to the, the original normal uh, mode. And then once again, I'll show you soft light and hard light. And there you go. That's, that's a quick tip uh, on this photo. Now, now you can go do things like I might would add a second layer to this photo. Uh, when I processed this on a recent MacFun webinar, I added this realistic dreamy preset on another layer. So let me go get that. Um, and once you start stacking layers in luminosity masks, I tend to disregard down here what the photo looks like in the preview because it doesn't always seem to take all of that into account. So let me, uh, you know, if you know you like a preset, just click on it. Or if you want to try it, just click on it because you never know, right? So here's Realistic Dreamy. Now the other thing, let me show you again. This is a blend mode soft light and blend mode hard light, right? Very intense, uh, way overdone, very, uh, very ugly to be honest. It looks terrible. Let me go back to normal though. Okay, so the Dreamy preset looks pretty good, but it's a little... You know, it's not quite what I want. So I'm going to go build another luminosity mask. And so that takes a moment and you'll know it's built. Um, number one, the processing bar will, will uh, go away. But first you'll see the mask come up in this little box here. It'll look like the one there because it's the same identical mask, right? It's a luminosity mask. Uh, and then usually after that arrives, it'll take it a moment just to finish processing and applying the preset to the luminosity mask, right? So it's basically two steps that are occurring. Number one, it builds a luminosity mask. And then number two, because I already have a preset applied to this layer, it's then applying that preset to the luminosity mask. So it takes a minute, which, hey, gives me a minute to, to ramble a little bit. Uh, so this is building and let this come through. It should be wrapping up here, hopefully uh, pretty quick. Okay, so there's a luminosity mask. And now you see this orange progress bar is going and then you'll see the photo change and boom, there you go. So let me show you, there's the before and that was luminosity mask. Uh, on that layer and then here it is realistic dreamy uh, with the luminosity mask which is a much more subtle application but now hey why why not right we're talking about blend modes let's experiment let me show you soft light very subtle right so if you remember soft light on the previous layer with the preset was just a mess but now uh, adding the both the luminosity mask made it very subtle and then adding the uh, bl uh, changing the blend mode makes it very subtle so again, it's a unique and interesting way to experiment with uh, different looks in your photos. Let me just show you a couple more of these. Multiply, as you probably recall, is very intense. And luminosity, very subtle. And color is going to be probably very subtle as well. So let me show you. Uh, I think soft light looked uh, probably the best. And let me show you this layer without it. So there's the layer. Uh, excuse me, that layer has been sort of removed, for lack of a better word, or turned off. That's the uh, the photo with the original layer that had balanced and realistic. And then here's this layer with both a luminosity mask, which you can see here, and a soft light blend mode. Let me show you the normal blend mode. There it is, and there's soft light, right? Very subtle, very different, uh, or gentle, I should say, application to give it a slightly different look without the intensity of the blend mode um, by itself. If you recall, the blend mode by itself uh, with that preset looked horrible. It was super dark and overdone, but soft light, even hard light looks fine. There you go. It's a little bit more intense. I might would take some of the saturation down, uh, but it's a unique and interesting way to experiment with both blend modes and luminosity masks, uh, masks to create a uh, powerful but you know realistic HDR, very natural HDR implementation. So that's an idea for you. Let me close that. I'm not going to go all the way through this photo uh, because I want to show you one more example. Let me go get it. We've got uh, this photo here, which is a, uh, a three exposure bracket from Oregon. And once again, it was handheld. So I'm going to, I'm going to hit uh, the alignment. So it will line itself up while it builds this HDR photo. Give that just a minute to, uh, to get built and then I'm going to do something that I rarely ever do and that is I'm going to mess with the tone mapping settings. Uh, 99, literally 99.9% .9 of the time when I'm building an HDR in Aurora, I'm completely fine with the tone map uh, settings that, that it defaults to, right? But in this one, I'm not completely happy with it. Um, so I'm going to go in here and you can only do this on the base layer because that's the tone mapped image. Once you start adding additional layers, this tone map menu is not there. You can always go back and adjust it even if you've added other layers because you just go down to the original image layer and click on it. But if you want to, uh, 
you know, to play around with it, this is the, the, the sort of the time to do it, right? So um, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to move the spotlighting down a little bit, and I'm going to move the finishing touches up just a little bit, something like that. Let me show you the before and after. There's before. There's after. It, it sort of had a washed out look here, which um, if you ever used Photomatics, to me, I consider this... Um, there was a, a slider in Photomatics, or there is, I guess, called light smoothing. And, and I can't remember because I don't use Photomatics anymore. I got rid of it now that I uh, have the, the Magic Shop, right, which is what I call Aurora. But um, it was called light smoothing. And if you went one way, it really changed the light balance and it made it quite a bit more cartoonish or uh, kind of what you call bad HDR. Um, I know that's subject to interpretation, but that's generally what people would say uh, when you get that cartoonish effect. And if you went the other way the light smooth, with light smoothing, it was very uh, sort of subtle. Um, that's really what you do down here. Spectrum, spotlighting, and final touches all sort of help you balance out that light uh, from the tone uh, mapping algorithm that's applied to the photo. So um, I like that. I'm going to go add a layer, and I'm going to do that balanced and realistic preset again. And that's something you'll find with, with my photo editing videos is I have my favorites, right? We all end up with our favorites and, uh, you know, they just sort of become our trusty and reliable best friends. And so I use Balance and Realistic a lot. I use Realistic Dreamy a lot. I use Vivid Memories a lot. All of these are in the Realistic category. But there's a few in the Dramatic category I like. And outside of that, I don't go to the other categories a lot. I, I like these other presets. I got probably five or six that I consider my, my go-to. Uh, anyway, so I did that. Uh, there's Balanced and Realistic. And then I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave that at 100%. And I'm going to go get Vivid Memories. Uh, I'm, I'm abbreviating here because I'm uh, kind of slow while I'm trying to do all this. I'm going to click on Vivid Memories, and you'll see this apply. It, again, it applies 100% across. There's no mask or anything, no luminosity mask applied. Uh, the blend mode is normal. And as you can see, like, oh my God, Jim, this thing is colorful. Yeah, let me show you. There's the... Uh, there's, oops, hang on. There's the before with the balanced and realistic preset and adding vivid memories really gave it a serious pop of color. I like it, uh, but it's it's a little intense uh, for some people's taste, uh, and including mine. Uh, you know, I go back and forth. Sometimes I like to push the sliders. Sometimes I want to go a little bit more natural. I'm going to go for a natural look in this photo. So with vivid memories, I have that here. I'm going to go in and I'm going to... Uh, look at blend mode. So again, we're talking about blend modes and luminosity masks. So here's soft light. I kind of like that. If, if you notice beforehand, let me show you the normal again. There's not a lot of contrast around here. So the, the soft light brings up, a, it darkens some of the foreground areas, these rocks, uh, this big hill here. I like that. It, it makes a photo a little bit prettier to me. Hard light's a little too much. Uh, I'm going to go with normal. But once again, I'm going to go apply a luminosity mask to this layer, and then I'm going to experiment with the blend modes and the luminosity mask. And again, it's just it's one of those things that once you start getting familiar with Aurora, you start jacking around with stuff, is what I call it, and uh, you get in the magic shop, and the next thing you know, you discover something that, hey man, this might really work. So this video, or this tutorial, sorry, it's not an exact, you know, step one, step two, and step three, and here's your perfect photo. It's none of that, and as you know, I'm not even completely editing the photo. I'm just... Uh, showing you some tips that I recommend experimenting with on your own, which is combining luminosity masks and blend modes to, to get a subtle application. So there you go. If you remember Vivid Memories, how intense it was in color, just adding the luminosity mask changed that significantly. And now let's go look at blend modes. All right, that softens it up a little bit. And I'm kind of riffing here. This is, uh, I like that a lot. Wow. If you remember Hard Light uh, without the luminosity mask, it was way too intense. This is much better. It's dark in the right places, it's light in the right places, and it's pretty balanced right there, which I think looks nice. Uh, let me try multiply just to see if, yeah, it's pretty flat. Let me try color. Yeah, that's pretty subtle, really. There's the previous. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really do a lot for me. So I really like, uh, was it, no, it was hard light. There we go. So there's hard light. So again, not a, a strict formula, one, two, three, follow this step and that step and the third step and you're done. But really, I wanted to share this video just to give you a, maybe a spark of creativity, maybe give you some ideas about things you can try in your own photos. And that would be experiment with uh, luminosity masks. I highly recommend that. And this wasn't a deep dive on those. That was in my previous video. 
Uh, but also, while you're at it, experiment with blend modes. You, you can't go wrong. They're super fun to experiment with. And while I didn't finish this photo, this is a great example of how you can combine blend modes and luminosity mask to create something that's really going to satisfy you. And it gives you a nice, subtle, natural HDR implementation. So there you go. That's it for today. You can probably hear the phone ringing. And uh, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate you stopping by. And I'll see you next time.